Darren Lockyer is a prominent figure in the world of rugby league in Australia. Darren has played at the pinnacle of the game over his 17-year professional career. He was talented at a vast range of sports, although rugby league was his true love. He states in his autobiography, By the time we left Wendowen for Roma, I knew rugby league was my game. His autobiography is self-titled and was published in March 2014 by himself and Dan Koch. Throughout the vodcast, I will examine the Australian sporting systems which enabled Lockyer to propel himself to where he is today. In a lecture by Dr. Olin Scott, he told us that there is no textbook definitions for delivery systems, but can be described as a range of agencies combine, compete and contribute to the delivery of sport for all. These agencies and the competitions and services they deliver to participants at whatever level they are able to achieve comprise the delivery systems of sport. This basically means that sport delivery systems are put in place to increase participation to a particular sport and ensure that equal opportunities for all are provided. Shilbury and Kellett describe sport delivery systems in Australia as a very simple system that allows all participants the opportunity to participate at a level commensurate with their ability. Sport delivery systems are important as they allow participants to monitor their progress and development through their chosen sport. It is also important to understand how these systems work as the agencies need to know the best possible place for funding to be allocated. The various levels of sport delivery systems are school sport casual, local club, regional, state, national and international levels, which is displayed on the pyramid shown, which was found on page 245 of the Shilbury and Kellett textbook. Darren Lockyer was a thoroughly talented footballer, which allowed him a fast track to the top. He was about four years old when I gave him his first real lesson about how to kick a football and had him practicing with both his left and right feet. This is a direct quote from Darren's father, David Lockyer, who was a prominent figure in Darren's life and encouraged him to play sport. So from a young age, Darren was already being placed into the world of sport. At the age of six, he played his first proper game of sport for Springwood Junior AFL Club. By joining the AFL, it enabled him to get a sense of team sport and what it takes to be a team player. Whilst this was not the sport he fell in love with, it helped build the foundations of team sport for him, which he brought with him to the game of rugby league. Darren had a passion for sport at a young age. This meant that he was involved in sports such as cricket, swimming, athletics, touch and basketball. He says in his book that if it involved physical activity, I was there. This highlights his passion for sport and the dedication that he held for the world of sport. He found, though, through all these sports that athletics was his forte. He found that shot put and long jump were his best in the field, whilst 100 and 200 metre sprints were also his strong point. By developing his skills in track and field, this enabled him to focus on the development of speed, agility, strength and power. All of these skills would help him in the game of rugby league. However, at this point, he still did not realise that rugby league was going to be the game of his choice. Before moving to Roma, Queensland, he played for the Wendowen team for four years, both his school and club teams. However, it was in Roma that he really started to excel in the game of rugby league. Started off at the age of 10 playing in the centres as he was a reasonably big 10 year old. He was asked to play in the halves at 14 years of age where agility and speed were key. He says that he owes his development in this area to his experience in touch football. Through his time at City's Gladiators Club in Roma, he was selected to play for their first team in the fullback position. This led him to gaining the opportunity to go to Ipswich for a junior league carnival at the age of 17. Broncos coach Wayne Bennett and talent scout Cyril Connell were both in attendance. Lockyer impressed the two men, which led to him gaining a $2,000 scholarship with the Broncos. Later that year, he signed his first contract with the Broncos, which would end up to be his only National Rugby League club he played for. By signing with the Broncos, he was able to develop his game even further through intensive training and excellent coaching by Wayne Bennett. He played for the Broncos Colts before he made his first grade debut in 1995. The Broncos Colts was an integral part in his development as a first grade player. Sport development, according to this unit, is creating pathways for people to progress in sport from learning early foundation skills to achieving the highest levels of excellence, which we learnt in a lecture delivered by Dr. Olin Scott. Graham and Hilton describe sports development as must be in the business of devising better and more effective ways of promoting interest, participation or performance in sport. Taking both of these definitions, you can see that NRL has followed this meaning. In Lockyer's case, 
there were many levels for him to play at where he was able to develop his skills and filter through the sports delivery systems of NRL until he got to the top, which is playing for Australia at an international level. Rugby League uses the round-robin format throughout the season, whilst the finals are comprised as a knockout competition. A round-robin competition can be described as each team plays each other's team a fixed number of times and the matches are organised in rounds, as described by the European Journal of Operational Research. However, the NRL does not have enough teams that they are able to play each other twice, although some teams are playing others twice. The round-robin competition format is beneficial as it enables each team to play each other and see what their talents or skills are and where they need to improve. For Darren Lockyer, this would have been beneficial as he would have been able to change his game in order to help his team beat the stronger teams in the competition. The finals competition format for the NRL allows teams from 1st to 4th to have a loss in their first week and still be in the finals race. For teams 5th to 8th, one loss is all it takes to be eliminated. After the first week, however, teams are all allowed to be eliminated as the advantage is therefore lost to provide chance for the lower ranked teams. This format allows Darren to be in a pressure situation with a loss possibly ending his season. It therefore allows Darren's decision-making qualities to improve as well as his maturity as a player. Round robins and elimination formats are the most familiar to Darren as he used these in competitions such as the NRL, Rugby League World Cup and Four Nations. State of Origin was a different style though as Queensland and New South Wales do battle over three games to determine a victor. Darren Lockyer has achieved great things throughout his career in the NRL. Listed are the top 10 which include most appearances at the Broncos, most points for the Broncos, most points in a single season for the Broncos, three-time Dally M fullback of the year, three-time Dally M 5-8 of the year, most State of Origin appearances, Wally Lewis medal winner, most tests for Australia, most test tries for Australia, and most tests for Australia as captain. In my opinion, Darren has an understanding of the way in which he must progress from the lower levels to the peak of the game. Although at the time Darren wasn't excited for the move from Wendowen to Roma, the move benefited his playing career as his size, speed and agility was best used in rugby league. Darren didn't have a hard run like the most players due to him having been scouted for an NRL club at the age of 17. Darren was still required to understand the sports delivery systems so he was not pushed into a poor team decision and wasn't rushed onto the big stage which is a credit to coach Wayne Bennett. Without a sound knowledge of the sports delivery systems Darren may well have made the wrong choice resulting in a career as an average player. This assignment has shown me that Australia is by far the most effective country in allowing development through the sports delivery systems as there is a vast range of NRL clubs within Australia. Seeing that Darren had played other sports also allowed me to understand that each and every sport can provide a skill or ability for another. The main aspect that has stuck with me from the book is showing the potential for boys from the bush to make it in the big time and isn't all based on city slickers and the money in which they have. It shows that anyone, no matter what socio-cultural or socio-economic background they proceed from, there is a the potential to make it on the big stage. In a nutshell, I think that Darren Lockyer had quite an easy progress through the various levels of the delivery systems, not doubting his talent. In the analysis of Darren Lockyer, the autobiography, I have understood the way in which a player must develop physically and mentally to get to the pinnacle of the game, and I feel as though the sport delivery systems assisted Darren in his rise to fame and fortune.